The Ringworld Engineers is a 1980 science fiction novel by American writer Larry Niven. It is the first sequel to Niven's Ringworld and was nominated for both the Hugo and Locus Awards in 1981. Topic. Origin In the introduction to the novel, Niven says that he never planned to write more than one Ringworld novel, but that he did so, in a large part, due to fan support. Firstly, the popularity of Ringworld resulted in a demand for a sequel. Secondly, many fans had identified numerous engineering problems in the Ringworld as described in the novel. The first major problem was that the Ringworld, being a rigid structure, was not actually in orbit around the star it encircled and would eventually drift, resulting in the entire structure colliding with its sun and disintegrating. In the novel's introduction, Niven says that MIT students attending the 1971 World Science Fiction Convention chanted, The Ringworld is unstable. The Ringworld is unstable. Niven says that one reason he wrote The Ringworld Engineers was to address these engineering problems. Topic. Plot summary The hindmost, recently deposed leader of the puppeteers, abducts the human Louis Wu who has become a wirehead and Kazen Chimi previously known as Speaker to Animals. Both had been part of the Ringworld expedition in the first novel. The hindmost hopes to acquire Ringworld technology, specifically matter transmutation, to help him regain his position. Once they reach the Ringworld, Lewis and Chami set forth to explore, while the hindmost remain safely behind on their starship. Lewis and Chami also secretly plot to try to overthrow the hindmost so they can go home. In their travels, they meet a number of the hominid species that have evolved on the Ringworld. They also learn more about the full-scale maps of various known space worlds, including Earth, Mars and Kazan. They discover that the Ringworld has become unstable and will collide with its star soon. The Ringworld's builders, revealed to be POC protectors, have long since died out, and the attitude jets they installed all around the rim to maintain the Ringworld's position were later dismounted to use as starship engines. Chami goes to the Kazan map for his own goals, while Lewis tries to find some way to save the trillions of inhabitants. It is on the map of Mars that the reunited party and two natives finds the Ringworld control room Lewis is seeking, located in a vast maze of rooms in the hollow space under the map. To create the rarefied atmosphere on Mars, the map of Mars was built 20 miles 32 kilometers above the main surface, creating a 1,120,000,000 cubic mile 4.7 times 109 cubic kilometers cavity. The control room contains living space and, among other things, the meteor defense system. The defense system uses the superconductor grid embedded in the Ringworld's scrith floor to manipulate the magnetic field of the Ringworld's sun to trigger stellar flares that power a titanic gas laser. The first expedition to the Ringworld crashed after being hit by this laser. They encounter Tila Brown, a human member of the first expedition who had chosen to remain behind 20 years earlier. She and her lover Seeker had, in the course of their travels, stumbled upon tree of life plants. The smell of the plant drove them to eat its roots. Tila was turned into a POC protector, with superhuman intelligence and strength, but Seeker died, being too old to undergo the transformation. As a POC protector, Tila has little control of her actions, her protective instincts force her to try to save all of the Ringworld inhabitants. This causes a dilemma. She knows of a way to save the Ringworld, but it would entail killing 5% of the people. This she cannot do. However, she manages to lure Lewis and the others to where they can save the other 95%. Her instincts make her fight them, but she does so half-heartedly so that they can kill her. Afterward, Lewis figures out what to do. Tila had restored starship engines to their original purpose as attitude jets, but only had enough for 5% of the ring. Lewis gets the meteor defense system to generate a massive stellar flare normally used to power the laser weapon to provide 20 times more fuel to the attitude jets to move the ringworld back into position. 
However, the radiation from the flare is fatal to everything and everyone living on that section of the ringworld. Having earlier destroyed the hyperdrive to force the hindmost to cooperate, Lewis is stranded. He and the rest of his party look for some place to settle down, while the hindmost remains aboard the disabled but very safe starship to think things over. Topic. References to other known space works Apart from the obvious references to the preceding novel Ringworld, the Ringworld Engineers also draws upon ideas elaborated in Niven's 1973 novel Protector for Tila Brown's Ultimate Fate. Topic. Publication history 1979, USA, Galileo Magazine, four-part serialization July 1979 September 1979, November 1979, January 1980 1979, USA, Fantasia Press, ISBN 0-932096-03-4, boxed edition, limited to 500 copies 1980, USA, Holt, Reinhardt, and Winston, ISBN 978-0-03-021376-2, hardcover. 1981, USA, Ballantine Books ISBN 978-0-345-26009-3, paperback. 1985, USA, Ballantine Books ISBN 978-0-345-33430-5, pub date 12 November 1985, paperback 1997, USA, Ballantine Books ISBN 978-0-345-41841-8, pub date 23 June 1997, paperback 1992, UK, Orbit Books ISBN 978-1-85723-111-3, pub date 12 August 1992, paperback. Topic. Notes Topic. External links Ringworld Engineers at Worlds Without End